you don't want to fly with that. So this is exactly how to do this. Let's go. We have the uh, DJI FPV drone controller here and the goal of this video is to modify the throttle stick so it doesn't spring back to center like all the other Mavic drones. We want it to be FPV compliant. What that means is basically you want the full control over the throttle. You don't want it to spring back into 50% because if you're in manual mode that means you're just going to like fly up in the sky or whatever. Now you do have to be careful when you fly in normal or sport mode because if you have your throttle down and if you go into those other regular modes then the aircraft is going to start descending. So you have to make sure to know where 50% is basically and um, do that yourself. But I highly recommend it. It's just a better way to fly if you want to fly manual. So here's how to do it. I'm going to show you exactly step by step. I've got my overhead cam which I'm going to start here. So you guys can see this, right? So we've got the sticks in here, which is kind of nice that you can uh, you can have it stored in there. Although I do feel like the TBS Tango has a much better design in terms of storage because these will, on the Tango, will just push in and flip inwards. So uh, you don't lose these things uh, because these are just little tiny things. But the FPV combo will give you an extra pair of sticks. They probably knew that you're gonna lose this because it's such a small little thing. Um, so they give you an extra one, which is which is kind of nice. I would rather prefer to have an extra battery, but whatever, it's a little stick piece. I'm looking forward to the aftermarket sticks that will come out that hopefully will be longer so that we get more uh, resol stick resolution. Back to the story, what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this springy throttle. Okay, we want to be able to go from zero to 100 um, and have full control over this without it springing to the center because it's going to screw you when you're going to fly manual. Okay, this is only for the people flying manual, which 100% of you guys are going to do because that's why you got this thing, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to throw, throw it in the rear side of it. We're going to hit the little Allen key that it came with. I'm using this. I mean, I have Allen keys, but this is what it came with. So use this and we're going to open up the back. So you just dig your uh, nail into this and you want, well, you actually only have to do this side. Just just remember when you flip it around, it's the right. Okay. It's easy to get mixed up um, right and left. You might think it's this one for the throttle, but it's actually this one just. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting not only the uh, throttle spring and getting rid of that but we're going to be adjusting the spring tension because I want to talk about that as well uh, to help you fly uh, smoother so here we go so throttle side hopefully you guys can see this and I think it was this one and I think we just want to go clockwise to loosen this completely well let's see if that works let's go let's I'll, I'll let you know if it, which way it is in a second yeah so it's clockwise so you just want to go clockwise. I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Oh. Just wanna go enough. Yeah, there it is. It's... Okay. So now, now that you've turned F2 clockwise all the way, uh, F2, it has numbers, it's labeled. So F2, you wanna go clockwise all the way. Okay, and what's going to happen is your your stick is going to be flippy floppy like this now. It's going to be terrible. Um, so now what you want to do is tighten this up. Go to F1, which is this guy right here, and you want to go clockwise to tighten it up. And this is going to increase or decrease your stick tension. I personally like it like I would say, you know, 70% um, in terms of the stiffness because I like things to be, it's kind of like a steering wheel on a sports car. Um, you want it to be pretty, pretty stiff so that it smooths out all of your jitters, your natural human jitterers, right? But you don't want it to be too stuck because you do want that throttle, throttle control. So I have it like this. This feels pretty good. This is, I would say about 70%. And then we have left and right and then now we're gonna we're gonna move over to the right stick and adjust this as well. 
So we want to probably go to, let's see, which one would it be? Let's just try F1. I have no idea. Usually it's righty tighty, right? So I would assume going to the right is going to tighten everything up. Okay, we've gone all the way on F1. So let's see here. So that is the up and down. Whoa, it tightened it up too much. So let's back that off. Like I said, we don't, we don't want it to be too tight because then you're going to get stuck. And what I'm, what I'm actually realizing is this is probably the same on both sides because it, you, can, you can use it for mode one or mode two. So I fly mode two, which is where the throttle is on the left side. Some people um, will fly mode one, which is where the throttle is on the uh, right side. So if you are a mode one flyer, which I guess if you're new, you wouldn't know. It's kind of like being goofy foot or regular foot for surfing or skateboarding. You just don't know until you try it. So I would suggest going on the simulator. Oh, I should make a video about that. Going into the simulator, just leave the center sticks and then flying whichever way and just learning it, just learn how it works and then see which one you're comfortable with. Because if you're left-handed, for example, maybe you're mode one, I don't know. Um, some people do some weird stuff like mode four, which I don't know if, it, if that's available on this, but uh, that's how some people fly with F traditional FPV. Um, very rarely, but you know, there, a lot of people in Europe do fly in uh, mode two or mode one. I do like it to be a little bit of resistance or to have a little bit of resistance. Man, this thing has like blemishes on it. It's like brand new, but it already has some blemishes on it. You see that right there? This is brand new guys and it already has blemishes. Sucks, right? What the heck? Whatever. Whatever. It's FPV stuff. It's meant to be crashed although remotes are not meant to be dropped and crashed in a year this is probably going to be obsolete because they're probably going to come out with a pro version and it's probably not going to work with any of these things maybe <sighs> so much money guys so much. anyways we now have the controller fixed so you see this this now can go from zero to 100 without and it will will not spring back to center you know Hmm. Let me loosen it up a little bit and I'm also going to do another tuning video um, out in the field to show you well, I'm just going to tell you exactly how to tune it because these these things now nowadays with FPV since this is the exact same aircraft I can tell you exactly the tune and then you can plug it in and it'll fly exactly the same So that's I guess I guess that's a advantage. So I'm going to show you I already have a tune that I'd worked out it was with the previous beta firmware, but I'm assuming it hasn't changed since then. It did change a lot in the alpha stage, but um, I do think it was at a decent point and I did get a decent tune. It's not pit tuning, but it's right tuning. And it's a, it's a tune that I know works for sure for new pilots because I, well, I, I went and flew with Potato Jet basically. Um, and I handed him my quad or the DJI FPV quad with my tune on it and I asked him like does this feel better he said it was awesome and it was he flew manual and it was, it was amazing I didn't record it because just to be courteous but um just just take my word for it uh it, it flies good it flies good man um so if you're a beginner I highly recommend you subscribe and wait for that video I'm gonna make that video very very soon now that I have this quad in my hands um, so yeah, that concludes this video. It's just a short video on how to change your stick into manual mode so you can be a real FPV pilot. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you do like what you're seeing. Stay tuned for more uh, videos, especially that tuning video. It is my job to help you fly better. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Push it to the limit. Push it, push it to the limit. Go and see what's going down.